Good morning, everybody. How you all doing? I am, of course, Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Battle Studios. And today I want to talk to you about my big project for 2020, which is, of course, Swords and Sandals Crusader Redux. Uh, in the last video, I announced this game and I'll give you a quick summary of what was said in that video. A lot of people have been asking for Sword and Sandals Crusader to be remade like I've remade Sword and Sandals 2 and Sword and Sandals 5. Uh, Crusader was always something that I wanted to put together in a new package, but it was just a, you know, when could I do it? And I thought in between the finishing of Spartacus at the end of last year and the start of Sword and Sandals 6 later this year, I had a little window of a few months and now's the time. So let's get it done. Sword and Sandals Crusader was in fact made in 2007. Can you believe it? Long time ago. Uh, I was much younger then and I had no grey in the beard. Didn't even have a beard back then. Uh, much has changed in my life and much has changed in the world since Sword and Sandals Crusader first came out. But I think there's certainly room for this game and um, it's something I've been wanting to bring back for many years. So I am basically taking the game, uh, the old porting, the old code from the game and mashing it together with Sword and Sandals Pirates, which is a game which is much newer, made a couple of years ago, but shares a very similar sort of structure. Uh, you could almost call Sword and Sandals Pirates, you could call it Crusaders at Sea really, and I kind of wish I had called it that. Uh, because it has very similar battles and a turn-based approach and everything like that. So I'm grabbing the old code, mashing it together. It's kind of funny because I'm looking at this old code from 12, 13 years ago. And I still kind of understand how it works. And even though you grow and get a lot better as a programmer over the years, it's still kind of um, nice to know that, you know, you weren't crazy back then. And a lot of the stuff you wrote, you know, still kind of makes sense. You know, even though I do feel like I've gotten a lot better as a programmer and you know stuff could have been done a lot easier these days than it was done back then there's still some cool stuff in there so I'm sort of just basically grabbing all the old code putting in the new stuff it's done in different languages one is done in action script 2 one is done in action script 3 which are similar enough but different frameworks it's kind of like throwing two jigsaw puzzles on the ground and trying to move them together or actually better two Lego sets without the instructions. You kind of know how they're supposed to look. But anyway, at the moment I have a main menu, I have a select character screen, I have um, the customize option screens. A lot of that was taken from Pirates and I've sort of changed it and tweaked it. Um, I've got all the character art now for the heroes. I've brought in all the army art and everything. It's all happening pretty quickly, but I'm not gonna show you anything for a little while because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. Uh, you can see there, um, if I look there in the reverse of the camera, there is uh, art of King Lionel, who is, of course, the major hero from Sword and Sandals Crusader and um, the major defense against um, the evil of Antares. That's the new art for him, and it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, I'm going to show you this character art over the coming months as well. Uh, the game is supposed to be out by April, May. Fingers crossed. It's all going pretty well and pretty fast so far. And because I'm developing on the game three days a week now instead of uh, two, I'm actually able to make it a lot faster. What I wanted to talk to you today, uh, three minutes into the video, sorry, was I would love your help. In Swords and Sandals Crusader, there were little flavor scenarios that would come up every, every now and again. So you'd be having a turn... And then every now and again, a little uh, text box would pop up and it would have some information like, oh, hey, you've um, encountered a wandering knight and he wants to join the cause or something like that. Now, I've got about 40 or 50 of these, but I would like to have a lot more because these things over the years, a lot of people have said they really enjoyed. And I think uh, the game should have a few new ones because um, you've probably read a lot of the old ones. You might be sick of them. So I'd like to at least double that number. I'm going to write a whole bunch myself in the coming months. But are you keen to do some yourselves? And uh, I know most of you won't be interested, but there's a lot of uh, creative Sword and Sandals fans out there here on YouTube and YouTube, YouTube and on the Discord channel. And, you know, people that just get in touch with me via email and so on, they're always coming up with um, interesting, you know, story ideas for Sword and Sandals. And well, now's your chance. So... What I would like you to do is, in the YouTube comments, 
And you know, if you have my email address and you want to email me, then fine, that works too. But uh, however you want to get in touch with me or Discord, whatever, I want some new scenarios from you guys. And there's a very simple structure. And I'm going to give you an example of one of them from Sword and Sandals Crusader. I'll read it out to you. So I'm going to bring it up here. You won't see it. This is just for me to read out. Um, here's a couple. It's got a heading, a main text, and uh, a result. But you don't really have to write the result. I'll, just to, I'll determine that from what happens. So the heading, Knights from Across the Sea. And the uh, main text is... Late one evening, four knights approach your camp. Tired and hungry, they beg, shoot, uh, beg for food and shelter for the night. Over a hot meal, they explain their travels from a far-off land. They were shipwrecked here in Brandor. Seeking employment, they offer to fight for you. They seem strong warriors, so you gladly accept their services. In that case, four knights would join the army. Uh, another example might be um, Assassin in the Camp. Heading, main text. In the early hours of the dawn, you are woken by your sergeants. There is murder afoot, he exclaims. Several of your best fighters have been found murdered, knife wounds all. A short investigation follows, but the traitor has gone. Cursing, you realize you have lost five men and your soldiers are not as loyal as they would first appear. So that's just a simple negative story. And in that one, five soldiers would be lost. So... um. All you have to do is, yeah, write a heading, main text, and then you can write underneath what happens, like five soldiers lost, five soldiers gained. But I'll probably be able to determine that from what happens in the main story anyway, so you don't need to write that if you don't wish. At the moment, there are really only a couple of things that can happen. You can gain gold, you can lose gold, you can gain soldiers, or you can lose soldiers. But I will probably be adding some extra resources to the game. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to play out. But I know that Sword and Sounds Pirates had extra resources like materials and so on. And so I might bring that in as well. But what that means is I'll just probably tweak these stories. Um, try to keep these kind of medieval themed, you know, army based, you know, that kind of thing. It's not really a, a sci-fi game. So no spaceships and, um, and no characters from, you know, famous games, no Aragorn or... Um, you know, Captain America or anything like that. We have copyright problems there. But if you have any characters that you like from the Sword and Sandals franchise and so on, perhaps they could make cameos and so on. Um, I won't guarantee or put them all in the game and I will probably tweak the writing a little bit just to make it a little bit more like my own style. But um, I would love your creative input. And if it's something you want to do, please, please feel free to um, write in the comments your scenarios. And then other people... Feel free to comment below if you think they are good or they should be changed or whatever. And I will endeavor to put as many of these in the game as I can. All right, that is it for today's video. Um, the game is progressing you know, pretty quickly, but again, I'm not gonna show you any footage for now. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, not tomorrow, today I'm gonna be working on a bit more menu stuff and start starting work on the main overland map of the game which is a redrawing of the old um, Brandon map, which was pretty small. I gotta work out whether this is gonna be a big map, which you sort of pan around, or it'll be a small map, which just stays on one screen, like in the old game. Um, also let me know in the comments if you think you prefer the big map or the little map. Um, there's pros and cons to both. The little map means you can kind of see everything that's going on all at once. The bigger map means uh, a little bit more room, especially on small phones and things, because this game will be coming out on mobile phones and that kind of thing. So the game is really a, um, a process of working out what was good in Crusader and what uh, I'd like to keep from Pirates and that kind of thing, because there's pros and cons to both. And, you know, uh, I have to have a lot of considerations for things like uh, what, you know, what has changed, what works, you know, what's good on a mobile phone, what's good on a desktop, that kind of thing. Uh, you know what I mean. There is a lot of stuff to put in there. But without further ado, I'm kind of rambling now. So I hope you all have an excellent day and I look forward to um, your company again in the next video. And I'll show you more Crusader Redux then. So get your scenarios in in the comments below or if you have my email address, uh, please email me or write me on Discord. All right, my gladiator friends and crusader friends, until the next video, bye for now.